Mommy, I heard a noise. Mommy's ignoring you, honey. Don't bother your father. He's in his study. Come on, Shmi. Daddy will help us. Daddy, I'm scared. I heard noises. Daddy? Son, we just moved here. You're just not used to the sounds of our new house. I'm busy right now, working. That's all I seem to do now. I have to work to keep you alive. To feed you. I haven't smiled once since you were born. Go to sleep. But I can't. I don't have any curtains on my windows, and I feel like things are watching me. Please, Daddy, it's scary here. Shmi hears sounds. Your presence tires me. Go to your room and stay quiet, or the things will hear you. But Shmi... Go to sleep. Yes, Daddy. Let's go to my room, Shmi. We'll hide under the blankets, and maybe we'll fall asleep before we die. Here we are, Shmi... Huh? Mommy? The bathroom, Shmi. There's something in the bathroom. Let's be brave, Shmi. We have to protect Mommy and Daddy. Huh? No, you're wrong, Shmi. They aren't bad people. They love me. They don't really mean it when they tell me to get kidnapped. Where the fuck is the back seat? <laughs> oh, hello. My name is Johnny, and you can call me me for short. And who might you be? Squee. Squee, huh? Well, okay, I don't mean to intrude, Squee, but where do you keep the back scene? Some of this blood is mine. Wait, I found it. Yeah, that's it. Damn, that one really put up a struggle. Scrap me up like he was a cat on crack. Nothing quite brings out the zest for life in a person like the thought of their impending death. I see by the looks of you that you understand. Hey, who's your friend there? Um, that's Shmi. Well, hello there, Shmi. Nice to meet you. I am me. So, you're Squee's little friend, huh? Well, you certainly are a cute little bear bear. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> hmm? What's that, Shmi? Hmm? Hmm? Yes? Hmm? Yeah, really? Uh-huh. Okay. What? Hmm? Well, fuck you, Mr. Bear! You speak lies! LIES! <laughs> Stuffed with pure venom, you vile, lint-infested bastard! How many more like you are there? How many more? You can't even imagine the things I've endured and always at the hands of shit like you! You don't know the truth! Oh. Um. It's getting late. I should go now. I'm so awake, I need to be out. Come on, you can walk me out. Hey, sorry about the window, but I noticed it was locked. I don't suggest you ever lock it again. Well, later, and thanks for the disinfectant. It's been nice talking. But we'll have plenty of time for that after all. We're neighbors now. Mommy! Daddy! I don't hear you, honey. You ruined my life! He didn't ask to be, but he is. Wobbly-headed Bob. <laughs> Harsh sigh. Oh, oh, why must I endure this pain? Such unfathomable sorrow. My mind ravaged by relentless and ghastly truths. Cursed with an enormously vast perception of this cruel reality, trudging through levels of intense emotion no small-minded creature could withstand. So it is no surprise that most of all there is pain and superiority I suffer <laughs> because I am better. Why me? Why was I chosen to be the vessel for such agonizing knowledge? I never asked to be this superior being. Oh, so why me? Why? 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 Whee! <laughs> Now I envy those blessed with the stunning ignorance of the truth. Sigh. Oh, to be truly happy. To be an imbecile. Why, hello, little dog. What are you doing out here? It's dangerous out here on this road. You should be more careful, you cute, simple-minded little creature. Come. 
I shall carry you to a safer place to live out the rest of your sad, sad life. But from there on, you're on your own. But aren't we all? You know, we're a lot alike, you and I, both suffering among the throngs of fools in this callous world. Okay, here you are. I'll just enjoy this beautiful sunset before I go. Remember, dog, beauty is ephemeral. Pain is forever. You made me smile. Thank you. Now, farewell. Live long and suffer few pains, my friend. Sigh. Hello, ma'am. I'm conducting a survey for the Neighborhood Crime Council. As you may know, the people of our city have recently been subject to a massive increase in hideously brutal mutilations. Now, I'd like to ask you a few questions if you have the time. Well, I really hate to miss Oprah Wendy, but this whole mutilation thing is pretty upsetting. So ask away! Next, men who eat human waste and the women who love to kiss them. Okie do! So, what do you think about murder? Hmm, well, just last week, I found my husband's headless body nailed on the wall with his open chest cavity stuffed with human skulls. So, I'd have to say that it's, um, bad? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes? Hello there! Say, I couldn't help but notice your house number. 777. Hmm, that's funny. Isn't that like the number for heaven or something? <laughs> Does this look like heaven? Uh, no, I guess not. Hey, I think there's something wrong with your doorbell, see? <laughs> Did you want something? Oh, yes. I'm from the Neighborhood Crime Council. It's a survey on the recent wave of violent crimes, so i just like to... Get in here! Two years ago, I was taking a walk at night, and this little chihuahua started following me! God damn it, it knew! I ran and finally lost it and made it home, but it knew! It knew! What is this? Did the dog send you? No, I'm just doing a survey, honest! Oh, okay. So what do you want to know? Um, you know, this really isn't that important. I should leave. Yes! Right now! Sorry to have disturbed you, uh, bothered you. <laughs> Not at all. I guess I needed a break. I was just drawing a comic, Happy Noodle Boy. It's really popular with the homeless and sane. Now, ask me questions. Lots of questions, please. Sit! Uh, alright. Uh, okay. So, what are your views on this current surge of violent crimes? And what could be done to protect the people? Hmm. The violent crimes. All perfectly natural in a society whose advances are limited to its technology. The basic behavior of the modern human is hardly different from that of its primitive ancestors. The only noticeable changes are the trends. Whether in a suit or in a loincloth, people are ignorant little thorns cutting into one another. They seem incapable of advancing beyond the violent tendencies which at one time were necessary for survival. As for protecting the people, well, that's a bit of a paradox, at least from what I know. I'm sure that if you search into the lives of some of these victims, you'd find out that they, themselves, were the cause of their very deaths. In those cases, the so-called victim, at some earlier time, played some part in the creation of their killer. I believe that the life ended was ended for the fact that it was wasted on something that would never evolve beyond the childish cruelty so many never cast off. Okay... Now, ask another one. Sure, um, so what do you think of the idea that violence on television and other media have a negative effect on kids and other impressionable minds? Ooh. Any pile of stunted growth unaware that entertainment is just that and nothing more deserves to doom themselves to some dank cell somewhere for having been so stupid. Movies, books, TV, music, they're all just entertainment, not guidebooks for damning yourself. These are some fantastic answers. I'm sorry I was so nervous before. But don't worry now, I'd be glad to go on with the questions. I've got one, it's pretty weird. You might remember the girl found behind the mall. Very strange, she was drained of all of her blood. Police think that maybe the killer has some sort of vampirism thing. Like, he drinks his victim's blood. What do you think? I never drink her blood, never, but I needed it. You see, it changes color when it dries. It never stays. I have to keep the wool wet. Ask 
ask a different question. A lovely day in the city park, sun shining, the birds singing, they're laughing at me, Mom! Hey, Daddy! Here comes that crazy man that yells at everybody! Yes, son, you is correct. Hey, dog entity, rise up and bear your biscuit filthy fangs at the oppressive leash-wielding demon. God damn my navel itches! <laughs> Meow! 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 Cat chow! Cease your flatulent winds and hear my mind-numbing expulsions of wicked noise! Oh, jeez! I sense your envy on my neck, and I don't blame you. Drool over my magical powers! I have powers Pinto Beats can only dream of! Wanna see me pull a tapeworm out of my ass? Huh? I am testicles! God of rash covered scrotums! Stare deep into the sinking abyss of my individually wrapped slices! Holy wax! Check out my armpits! Hey, wait a minute. Wait just a poly picking minute. I see your game. You will not sink my Cheerio. I see what it's transpiring here. You're all zombie thigh fat people, brought into animation by some evil force of forceful evil. Shit! That lipstick's the wrong color for you! Me? Ooh, woof. Oh, don't you see the toenails? Oh, so splendid! A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K! Excuse me, Senior Noodle, but what's wrong with you? Why do you keep yelling like that? Under such extreme heat, wear and degradation is inevitable. Parts break after overuse, and that is why toaster pastries will burst into flames if you don't keep an eye on them. You sex of bladder waste! Make him die, Daddy! The end! Yum, good taco. My, you're certainly a wacky looking one. Excuse me, what was that? Did you say wacky? Well, yes. I was only commenting on your appearance. I would simply die if my son looked as wacky. <laughs> Wacky? What the hell kind of word is that? Wacky? I hate that word! Fewer words are as excruciatingly stupid and used in description of me! Fook! Hey, so she said wacky, so what? I mean, just look at you. Now shut up. You said it too! Fuck! You said that word! Of all the ass lancing words! Oh, you bleeding cracks! Without fail, every time I leave my house, it's as if I've given up my every right to be left alone or treated with respect! You flies with your unyielding little minds! You think my difference from you is an excuse to comment on me? As if I were on display for you? Like I'm the way I am because I want the incessant gawking of strangers? Not only that, but you use the word wacky! What's going on? Well, that lady called that guy wacky. I'll show you wacky! I'll show you wacky! My taco is getting cold. Oh dear god! My eyes! I can't see my eyes! No! Somebody pull this Torino out of my ass! <laughs> Let's get pizza. Had spared no one. Even going so far as to kill all the roaches in the kitchen. Police arrived to find him still in the restaurant covered in gore, eating a taco. The killer, however, escaped, disemboweling one officer with a plastic spoon slash fork. There is no explanation for the rampage. One silenced officer was quoted as saying, it was wacky. The end of another fun-filled day at Tom Ryan Elementary. The safety of pedestrian children in the stop sign wielding hands of the proud fourth grade volunteers, the crossing gods. But just as this crossroads is the scene for watching out for the well-being of friends and fellow students, it was also the site of an incomprehensible ancient battle. A battle left without resolve. For, though death stripped them of their bodies, the enmity that drove the two lived on. But each side in states of being unreachable by the still wearing souls, the old gods, they waited for planes to shift and times to intersect. They waited. Hey, McGill, keep your sign up. Stop being so lazy. 
I'm not lazy, Leanne. This is how Miss Chen told us to hold it, so be quiet. Miss Chen made me captain today, so you better do what I say or I'm telling. So what if you're captain? You're still a stupid. Nah, uh -huh. you're a stupid. And you still make butt biscuits in your pants. I smelled it in class. <laughs> Do we? The huh? No, I don't. Huh? Aha! <laughs> ah so, Sea Lord, here it will finally end. It has been long enough. This time, every part of you shall die. Are you prepared for your ultimate death? Reeds speak for a line so minute, Adrian. But this battle ends with my victor and your eternal silence. As before, your words cost you the first strike. <laughs> Mild discomfort, now you die. <laughs> you missed. As have you. True face shows. Now I finish this game. No! Mommy. Robert, get out of here. Your daughter's been fighting again. I love you. I love you. Woeful deceit. Soon you will keep each other's company merely to sustain your guttural carnal desires. Enjoy yourselves while your simple lust is veiled by delusions of complex affections. So you see, Ted, suicide isn't the answer. Gee, I guess you're right. So brave to prolong your obviously wretched existence. I wish you luck on what will likely be a sad future. I did it! I did it! A perfect score on my SAT! Why, I must be the smartest person in the entire universe! Wow! If you actually believe your true intelligence is determined by some standardized system, well then, you can't be that smart. The ability to quote memorized information is hardly worth such joy. Beautiful child, so fresh and full of inevitable greatness! A doctor! A judge! Maybe even president! You dare revel in this hideous beast you have spawned, so bloated with countless wicked futures. Blinded morons, for all you know, this child of yours may be a vessel for Satan. <coughs> Doomed to wander this land forever, a dispenser of truth. Well, no more. I have made blind eyes see light, but now I tend only my own torment. I will jump. Jerk. Bitch. Dead. Kill it. Oh, God. Will it never end? <laughs> Dear Diary, today, some friends came over. Oh, it's such a beautiful night. I think I'll kill myself. What else is there to do? It's so incredibly lovely out, and it's not as if anyone is going to drop by. Though on nights like this, I wish somebody would. I really don't want to be alone right now. Fuck. Another one of these nights. Well, this time, I'll make sure... There aren't any more! Ever! No more dreaming for real friends. No more stars for me to be alone under. No more! I'm blowing through that lid. I'm going over the stars. Something's gone wrong with me. I know that. This place has made me sick. Somehow, all I smell is the shit in this diseased reality. All I can see is things full of rot and riddled with stingers. Time for something new! Over the stars. Wait! Don't do it! Killing yourself isn't the answer! Like hell it isn't, Nail Bunny! You don't know what it's like! You couldn't even imagine! Things I've done. You bought me at a pet store, fed me once, then nailed me to this wall. Three years ago. I don't have to imagine. 
but just listen to me. Fuck you, you lie! You just want to keep me riding in this rusting blade to keep me here in this place! You're right. The filthy rabbit is lying. Deedy doody. The only way out of the vein is through a hole in your head. Your body is the anchor keeping you from flying over the stars. Yes. No, Johnny! He's the liar! You can get help! Please, don't do anything stupid! There have to be people out there, somewhere, who can help you! Different from the ones who have hurt you! Yes! No! Impossible! Too late! And I can only see the things I despise, so shut up! Please! Bad, bad lying, buddy! You misguide him! Keep silent! Keep silent! Our boy is in need of this cure, and it must be taken through the skin. So let him pull the fucking trigger! You're not crazy, Johnny. You're not. Look, you and I, we're having a perfectly sane discussion, yes? Well, I, I guess so. I mean, you've always been pretty straight with me through the years. Maybe you're right. Maybe I can get help. Jenny C, your infection deludes you. You can wash away every last drop of blood from these walls, but the walls of your mind remain forever stained. <laughs> you are beyond redemption. That's it. No more. Hey! That commercial where the whole family gets diarrhea is on! Mommy! Ah! Crisis averted. The end. Spending time with Happy Noodle Boy. Ever wonder what everyday life is like for your average noodle boy? Huh? Huh? Answer me, damn you! Mom! They keep laughing! Fucking donut! Mock me! You fried cyclops! Get the hell off my car! Meow! Yeah, you! I know what you really are. I can't prove it, but I'm on to you. Give me some cheese! Spare a quarter? Shut up, demon weasel! Repent! Repent! Floss often! Nonsensical, yet you envy me. You wish to wipe my ass, butter my groin. Hermaphroditic monkeys, you speak with fool's tongues. That's a nice tie. Shut up, nude Lloyd, or I'll shoot you in your head. Do it, Daddy. Who's that? Clutch my testes, bloody squirrel humpers. Hey, lady, come here and drool on my face. Run, piggy, piggy. Run, piggy, piggy, piggy. My God. You're beautiful. Fuck! I can smell blood in your urine. Yum. Air. What's up, my paws? Oh, no! It's just the presence of your soiled pants. Ah! Now you see my power. Now you know what my goiter can do to your follicles. What in God's name is wrong with you, Mr. Noodle Person? Fuck off! Yee! You're going to die! God damn you, moot. You fucking toaster! You're nothing! That's all you'll ever be! A toaster! Damn, I have no kiwis! Listen, Mr. Noodle Man, if you don't shut the fuck up, I'm gonna kill you, you fucking asshole. Fuck you! Dear Diary, today I stuffed some dolls full of dead rats and put in the blender. I'm wondering if maybe there really is something wrong with me.